Watch Chris, tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Man, I'm so excited. You know, today we're gonna be talking about tournaments. More specifically, we're gonna be diving deep into the training regimes most pros use to get ready for those high stake games. So let's get ready to train because after this, you're gonna find yourself, man, having a much easier time tackling tournaments. But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy. Y'all need to say with me, what is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so we gotta start off with our favorite topics, drop spots. You know, whenever you play a match, knowing your drop spots are important, I'm telling you, it changes everything. However, you know, before a tournament, it becomes even more important. Like if you've ever looked online, you're gonna be able to find which drop spots the pros are planning to drop in. In fact, part of the competitive community's pastime is creating a chart whenever a big tournament comes around. This lets us know not just where a pro wants to take their team, but also what other players are gonna try to take the same spot. You know, most pros will try to land uncontested, but occasionally two sets of players are gonna land on the same spot and they're gonna have to fight over it or just try to avoid conflict so early in the game. So if you're planning on taking on more tournaments, then you should always have an idea of which drop spots suit you best and then train on those specific POIs so you know what to expect. You know, you also wanna do research on the most popular spots so you can avoid getting contested when you don't wanna fight someone off spawn. This is how pros develop game sense and this means getting out of creative for a bit and just learning the ropes of how arena works. You know, having a good landing spot ready can help you focus less on getting your bearings and Instead, focus on getting some damage done so you can avoid storm surge when it finally kicks in. All right, guys, if you're having trouble learning drop spots, avoiding storm surge, and just figuring out the best path of the zone, like, we got you covered, I'm telling you right now. Click on the link below to visit ProGuys.com, and there you're gonna be able to link up with a variety of different coaches that can help you figure out where you need to improve the most and how to go about achieving it. Plus, if you have any specific questions, you know, they're gonna be able to guide you through it as well. With ProGuys, you're gonna be able to see improvement in your game no matter what skill level that you come in with, all right? So come maximize your potential. You know, analyzing the pros is important for gathering information on play styles, but for a pro, this needs to be done in a specific way. You know, pros are already experienced with their mechanics, right? Like they've gathered uh, plenty of skills in terms of game sense as well, but that doesn't mean that they stop training or just looking for ways to get better. You know, it's a constant battle to really stay on top of the hill once you've planted your flag down. And so when you watch the pros, you're trying to pick up new strategies so you can copy their play styles. You know, you want to improve so that you can keep an eye on mistakes as well as counters and so you can really just figure out what what they know what you don't know. But the date of their footage is also very important. Just like we have game changes each season, pros are also constantly adapting their strategies and play styles. You know, even their settings change. And so this means that when pros face off with each other, they need to know what their opponent is currently like, rather than like four months ago, using. This is why you should always look for the most recent videos if you wanna learn more about good strategies and plays in the current meta. And so if you're still having a tough time trying to find the most relevant information that will help you surpass your current skills, then follow Follow this rule of thumb, okay? Look for building techniques that you're unfamiliar with. Like if the pro you're watching does something unexpected, write down the timestamp and just try to recreate it. Is this a strategy that they've initiated themselves or is it in response to their opponent's actions? Keep learning new skills and just, you know, new techniques and soon you're gonna have a whole list of tricks to really practice on in creative. Pro scrims are an important part of pro's training regime. Like, it's a way for them to practice against the very opponents they're gonna be facing later on. It also allows other players who wanna try playing against more skilled players a place to do so. So how exactly do pro scrims work? Well, it's a bit different than your average Fortnite match, and you might need to meet a few qualifications depending on like which scrim lobbies that you wanna participate in. You're gonna need to have a certain skill death ratio to really show that you have the skills to really play in the matches. I mean, after all, like the whole point of scrims is to go up against better players, right? And so if you meet the qualifications and become an active member of whatever community that you end up joining, then you have a place to really test your skills. So how exactly do you find these Discord servers and Scrum Lobbies? Good question. Well, for this one, you might have to do a bit of searching yourself, but we have a few places to start. Some pros do reach out to their community and just host their own scrims that you know you can participate in and even Discord server that you can really join to find other like-minded individuals. They will usually mention these on Twitch streams, so you know just be sure to ask in the chat to see you know which one is available. You can also find these by looking through some forum discussions since they will crop up from time to time as well. Just keep your eyes open and just play an active role in watching more pros for any chance that you get to really play scrims. In addition to practicing for the next tournament, this is also a great networking opportunity if you want to start playing team-based formats. You know, it can also help when you want to find someone more skilled than you to practice your 1v1. So make the most of it and you're going to manage to really get into scrims and I'm telling you, you're going to be even more prepared for future tournaments than you were before. 
All right, so before a tournament starts, you need to make sure that you're warmed up. You know, try practicing a few aim training routines and just take advantage of creative to really free build so you can make sure that you enter the tournament with your head in the game. You know, warm-ups don't have to be intensive, right? Like you don't want to grind arena for hours before a tournament. That would just be excessive and really could result in really burning out right as the game begins. Oof. Instead, just make sure that you dedicate 10 minute slots to some of your mechanics before a tournament and this is gonna get you where you need to be. You know, it's really easy to just say you warmed up before a tournament to get your muscle memory working before the match begins, but you also need to be able to maintain a schedule that allows you to warm up, grind, and then settle down each day. And this is actually gonna help you guys maintain your level of skill over longer periods of time, but also it just ensures that any time that you're training it, it's not sporadic. You know, one of the biggest misconceptions about training like a pro is the idea that you need to grind Fortnite, like every hour of every day. But the truth is, man, like many Fortnite players, even some of the pros, you know, they still need to juggle real life activities such as friends and family and school life, right? Because of this, it's a really good idea to become better with rescheduling so you can fit everything into your day. So set aside a few hours, you know, work on your mechanics, and then just take some time to rest as well and do you. You know, you can't just do well in Fortnite or anything else if you're just falling asleep. So the biggest challenge to your schedule is just being able to grind arena points since this usually takes more time than just finding an hour or two of your day to really practice your mechanic. You know, arena points are what allows you to qualify for certain tournaments, so your goals should just be to keep grinding arena so you won't miss out on any cash cuts. You know, we talked about scrim matches before, but what if you still wanna train like the pros but you don't really qualify yet? Well, you have some options and the pros really tend to do this in their routines. Like if you've ever wondered why some pros like to play late at night, sometimes it has to do with how the hours of the night are best for matching up with more hardcore players. You know, Fortnite doesn't necessarily have private lobbies and so this is why scrim matches exist. However, players have been able to really get around this restriction by changing the time of day they play. All right, for instance, players who go to school probably won't be around during the day since this requires you to be physically present and away from the computer or console. And so if you have a job, you might even find yourself being unable to play until 5 p.m. There's a large influx of players hopping into lobbies around 6 to 7 p.m., right? Like this usually is when younger players finish dinner and have the time to hop on. See, you know, what pros do is really wait till it becomes later and most other responsibilities are done. Younger players are asleep and because of this, lobbies tend to get much tougher around this time. You know, the people who are awake are the ones who are training for the competitive aspect of the game. And so by learning the optimal time to play, I mean, you can find new ways to really practice. And in some cases, you can find the optimal time to take it easy and just complete a few challenges. All right, so before we let you off the battle bus, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com and find out how you can form a better game plan today. But you guys tell me where you at your motivation guy is back. That's gonna be it for today's video. Hey, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. We have so much more amazing content coming out. Also, feel free to leave, you know, just a comment and just really let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. You know, remember guys, you know, if you wanna be a pro, you have to train like them. And so learn everything that you can um, about the game and then some. Also, connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. Hey, I believe in you guys. Keep going, keep grinding. I'll see you soon. Peace.